Hey guys, Katie Huller here with KidsCanReadAndWrite.com. Today I want to talk to you about the R and the ER spellings. So if you're ready, let's get started. So a lot of times words um, have either R or they have ER in them. And what I'm noticing with a lot of kids that I'm testing is that they don't know when to use an R and when to use ER. Either they always use R for an ER sound or um, they just get them all mixed up and start using ER all over the place where sometimes they just need R and sometimes they need ER. So let's talk about why that happens and what you can do to help them. So R, a lot of teachers are actually teaching that R says ER. What I want you to make sure of is that your child doesn't say ER for R. E-R, I-R, and you are say er. So when we hear er in a word, we want it to be either er, ir, or you are. R should be a shorter sound, not er, but more of a r, r, r sound. Now you don't want r, u, r, uh, right? But when you say r, it should be the r, r, r sound. There's no er in it. So what happens is a lot of times when I test kids and I call it a word like say, um, better, <clears throat> they'll spell it ba-et-er. They'll put an R. This will be how they'll spell better because they're hearing ba-et-er. They think R says er, so they just put an R there. Really, if you want to spell better, you need that er trick at the end, okay? That's the er. And remember, trick endings love to boss vowels. If they can get over one letter and boss that vowel, they will. So if you don't want this to say, but eat er, you have to make whoever's in the middle use their superpowers to double themselves and then add your trick ending. In this case, the er er, but et er better because see now when he goes to boss at e denied he's blocked okay so that's why we have that double t there but the really important thing is to make sure if you're saying er if you hear an er you get that er for it so when we want r a r sound um we want to hear that also so let's say the word was brush brush like brush your hair we want that to be br, not brush, but br, b, r, br, uh, sh. Remember the trick that says sh? That's the S telling secrets to the H. So this wouldn't, you don't want to read it, but er, ush. That's what I'm seeing kids coming in doing all the time. No er for r. It's just a buh and a ruh. That makes bruh, not burr. Please don't teach your kids that br is burr. Buh, ruh, bruh. Then ush, bruh, ush, brush. Okay, that would be bruh. If we hear er, we're going to want to put er, ir, or ur if we know our tricks. So we don't want to say bur ush when we say this. We're going to say ba, ra, bra. Hear how they just get blended together. Br, ush, brush. All right. <clears throat> so now, if you want to get your kids to take part in this and see how they do, um, teach them the trick real fast, and I'm going to call out some words. We're going to see how to spell them. So here we go. Pause when you need to, or just keep rolling through if they're keeping up with me. So the first word I'm going to call out is um, drip, drip, like water might drip into the sink, drip. Notice it's not dir-ip, it's dr ip drip. See if you can spell that. So pause it if you need to, but otherwise, let's see. dr ip We're going to start with our duh, which would have da 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 daddy's face first. Let him climb up the ladder. Dr-ruh. Is this 
R or ER? What do you think? Dura ip. This would be the R, dura. Because it's not dur ip, it's dura. Dura I. Who says I? That's the one with the ice cream falling off. That's our I. Dura I. How do you make a puh? Panhandle first so you don't get burned. Then put your pan, okay? Remember, the pan hangs over the stove, so make sure your P goes down into that extra area below. All right, so there's our drip. All right, let's try another. Are you ready? Let's see. How would you spell the word after? After. Let's see if you can spell it. Listen to the sounds. After. See if you can spell that. After. Okay, so let's see <clears throat> if we write it. Ah. That's our a -a -a apple, our A. Af. You see me biting my lower lip? Af. That's the F. -a. So if you have trouble hearing that, watch the mouth when they say it. Af. All right, we got our beginning. Af. Now let's get the second chunk. Tur. Tur. What would we put first? Tall T. Aft. Now I hear er. What says er? Well, it could be er, ir, or you are. They all say er. But if we're not sure which one, just go with er because you'll be right more than you'll be wrong. And you'll have to learn which ones have the others, but ER is the typical one that we use. It's used the most often, so if, especially at the end of a word, if you guess that, you're more likely to get it right than wrong when you hear that ER sound. So let's see how we did. AFTER. 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 So that would be the ER. If we had just put R, let's see what it would have said. Aftra. Aftra. That doesn't sound right. So that's how you can double check if you need to to see which one you need. We want the ER there. All right, let's try another. How about the word never? Never. See if you can spell it. Pause, write it on your own, and then we'll check it together. All right, so let's see. N. Remember when you do a N, start with this line and climb up it till you get to the top, then come around. That's how you get that little tiny nub without even trying. N. E. Who's E? E. E. Good. N. E. Nev. Now this is almost like the F, but nev. Do you hear the little vibration? Mm. That's the viva. Nev. And then we hear er. So which is it? Is it R or is it ER? I hope you said ER because I hear that er sound. It's not nevra. It's nev er. <clears throat> So that's what we want there. Good job. How many people got that? All right, let's try another. How about prop? Like I'm going to um, put some pillows to help prop me up, to help lift me up a little bit. Prop. All right. Pause it if you want to try on your own. Otherwise, let's go. Prop. Pra op. Try to hear all the sounds. Pra op. Prop. Notice it's not per op, it's pra, pra, prop. Okay, so when you spell it, you want your pa, remember pan handle first, then the circle, pra. What do you hear next? Is it r or er? So since it's not per op, it's prop, we just want the r, pra, pra. Op. Who says aw? Oh. That's the mouth is wide open, the O. Pra op. 
What do you hear next? Hey, so we start the pan handle again, and then the pan. Let's check it. Pa, ra, pra, op, prop. And if you learn to check it after you write it, you can find a lot of mistakes or you can feel pretty good about how you wrote it. Always make sure you reread what you write after you write it. I find a lot of mistakes that way. All right, let's try another. How about trust? Trust. How would you spell trust? Like, I trust you. Trust. Like, I believe that you'll do the right thing. Trust. All right, let's see. Trust. Did you choose an R or ER in this word? Let's see which one you should have. Trust. So we're going to start with ta. Tra. What should we put next? I hope you said R because it's not trust, it's tra. Tra. Hear how they're together? Tra. Tra. Uh, who's that? Tra. Uh, why'd you punch me? That's the U. Uh. Tra. Uh. Trust. And a T. Good. Hope you got that one. Good job if you did. Trust. All right, let's try another. How about, um, let's see, nerve. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve. Or a nerve is something if you get on a nerve. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> nerve. See if you can spell that one. Nerve. This is a little tricky, and I'll tell you why after you write it. All right, nerve. We're going to start with our na. Remember, a na starts with a line. You come down with that line, climb back up, and come around. And see, you can barely see a nub. Don't draw one in after. That creates an H. If you don't get a nub, just leave it like that. It doesn't have to have a nub, but if, if you add one, it ends up looking like an H. So don't do that. Just... Whatever you ended up with, let me show you one more time. When you want an N, come straight down, short line, climb up, 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 and come around. That's how you make an N. Okay, N -er. which do we put here? Do we put R or ER? Ner, do you hear the er? Er, we don't know. This is the E talking to the R. He talks so much. When the teacher calls on them, they say, er, we don't know. So that's the E-R. Ner. Notice it wasn't at the end this time. It's not always at the end. It could be in the middle, could be at the end, could be in the beginning. We don't really know. All right, so we have ner right now. What else do we need? Nerve. That's a V. Now, probably a lot of people stopped there. But did you know there's a rule where you're not allowed to end a word with a V? So what do we add? What's the quietest letter you can think of? The one that won't make a sound at the very end of a word. Well, it's that sleepy E. He gets so tired at the end of a word, he falls asleep. You can't hear him, but he's there. And when you have a word that ends with the V sound, you need to add that sleepy E there. He won't make a sound, so it'll still say nerve, nerve, but you need it there to satisfy the rule. All right, if you got that, I'm impressed. Good work, good work. All right, let's try another. Let's see, how about grin, grin, like you smile or grin. How would you spell that one? Grin. Let's see, we're going to go gr, g, girls, here's the girl's face for g, and then give her a long hair and curl it under her chin. All right, so we want gr, gr. Would I put an R or would I put ER? Hope you said R, because it's not a gr in, which would actually turn into jur in, because G E says j. We want gr, 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 eh, who says eh, like icky, the ice cream's falling off. 
Grin. Good. Grunt in. All right, we'll do one more together. Let's see how you do. Let me pick a good one. Have we done that one yet? Nope, let's try that one. Enter. Enter, like do not enter, or enter here. Enter. Now this one's very tricky for two reasons. Um, at the very beginning, you hear N, N. Now a lot of kids will just put an actual N when they hear N, but it's not N. N's can't say their names. We need eh, n. Mm. We need two letters to say this. Eh, n. Mm. Okay. So first, I want you to put eh, eh. That's Granny. If you've watched my other videos, you know E is eh. If you haven't seen the vowel video yet, you can watch that. We want n. Here's the n. Mm. That makes N. Now we can spell the second half. Tur. How would you spell that part? T. Er. Do you hear er? Which one is that? E R. Very good. Enter. So then check it. N. T. Er. Tur. Enter. Enter. All right, guys, great job. Hey, if you need more help learning tricks like these, if you're at the beginning of your reading journey and you're just starting to learn about tricks like these, look into the Black Belt Reading Program. I videotape videos on all of the tricks you need to know to become a great reader and a great speller slash writer. So if you need help, go to Kids Can readandwrite.com or you can go to kidscanonlineacademy.com and I'll put a link in the, um, com uh, not comments, but wherever the description so that you can easily find it if you want. But otherwise, just go to the website, look for the Black Belt Reading Program. It's a paid program, but if you want a complete guide to how to get your child reading and writing, with the activities you need, the lessons you need, everything you need, step-by-step -step process. Um, it works for all the kids capable of learning. So if you have a child who's capable of learning but struggling, I think you will love this program. It walks you through the reading and writing process step-by-step. -step. You just help your child go through the worksheets and by the time you get to the end of the program, it's like magic. If you've done all the lessons and you've mastered them up to that point, you should see your child read and write beautifully. So uh, if you need help with that, look up the Black Belt Reading Program and get that. But before we go, let's read these words together because reading and writing go together and you have a great opportunity to practice reading after you've practiced your spelling. So here we go. Let's see what was this word. Dra, ip, drip. How about this one? Af, t, er, after. This one. N, ev, nev, er, never. This one. P, r, pr, a. Prop. Notice how the letters tell us what to say. T, r, t, r, ust, trust. You don't have to remember these words to read them. You just have to know your sounds and your tricks. N, r, v. Notice I don't go n, e, r, v. I go n, r, v, nerve. I don't say anything for ease at the end because they're quiet at the end. This one, g, r, g, r, in, grin. And this one, n, t, er, enter, enter. So I hope that helps, guys. Thanks for joining me today. Hope to see you in the next video.